in the series of the 25 basic, or basic principles of Jewish child rearing, we are now on principle number six. Usually, young parents, that's the period of their lives when they are rearing their children, they're um, having children, they're educating their children, they usually are at the height of other um, endeavors in their lives. They're facing a multitude of challenges. It's building themselves career-wise. It's uh, building themselves personally as individual. It's working on their marriages. Um, it's establishing themselves socially, uh, within the community, financially. So parents are facing a multitude of challenges in their early days of life. And they are personally growing. They're growing in their own personal growth, their, their Torah study. So amidst all of this, children can sometimes be given to feel that they're basically a nuisance. They sometimes cry at night. They sometimes have nightmares at night. They sometimes uh, don't allow parents to have their beauty sleep. Um, they sometimes get in the way of uh, social engagements. They are a major factor that parents have to factor in in their very busy lives. Now, children, if they feel that they are a burden and a nuisance, so they feel they're being relegated to a, a position of insignificance. And that's a terrible thing. A child's got to feel that he's number one. A child's got to feel that his parents, that, that he's everything in his parents' lives. And true, parents, where they're juggling around many, many factors, um, they have to make an effort to let the child know that uh, the child is always and always will be the most important thing in their lives. Now, a father, mother, a family can be facing a financial crisis. And this financial crisis is something that they're working on, that they're concerned about, that they're discussing, that's, uh, that's completely all-encompassing to them. So if the child is very young and cannot understand things, then the parents have to make an effort that when the children are around, they are the same old, smiley, happy parents. They can't allow that their circumstances to profoundly affect the child because the child then feels rejected. Now, if the child is already of a mature age that the child can understand, then bring the child into the issue and tell them, you know, children, right now we're facing a financial crisis. Uh, whatever it is, we are wrestling with some issues of, uh, of, of significance. So we want you to understand that we love you and that you're most central to our lives, but you'll find mommy and daddy very often deeply involved and sifting through papers and sometimes um, uh, uh, having looks of gloom around them, something which can happen if, a, if, a, if, if one of the parents or parents lose their source of income and they are, uh, are, are extremely challenged by this. And obviously this affects the personality and this affects a person's behavior. But just remember, at least explain to the children. Ask the children, just try and bear with us. We love you and we care for you, but we're trying to get out of our situation. Sometimes, chas shalom, you can have a situation of health, of health in the family. A child is ill, a parent is ill, and again, um, the, the child needs to be brought into the situation and he needs to be brought in and feel that he's part of this, he, he, the, the, that the family is going through a challenge right now if the child can understand this, um, that there is a challenge facing the family and therefore the, um, the, the parents are, are more distracted. If the children are not of the age where they can begin to understand this, they're little toddlers, they're little kids, and they can't really understand this, then we have to make huge efforts in addition to contending with the issues at stake. We have to make huge efforts to, to keep a, a, a smiley countenance towards these children. Um, now, sometimes in extreme circumstances um, where there's serious illness or members of the family are hospitalized, or whatever it is, and the parents are totally distracted and they have to spend vast amounts of time outside of the home. So make sure that whoever is 
going to be in the home is a very sensitive, caring person. And to, what, uh, to, to, to the extent that one can, explain this to the children. Um, but just to send them off and just to send them out is not a, is not a good thing without them understanding why. So um, the child must never feel that he is a hindrance to the parent's growth, to the parent's um, progress or the parent's pleasure. Um, and that you can't discuss a lot, oy vey, what are we going to do with the kids? Or oy vey, the children are now on vacation and this is going to, uh, there's a strike on the buses and there's no schools and that becomes a, a tragedy. That shouldn't be the feeling that the child should, be, should feel that he is this oy vey, that he is this person that is causing so much um, a, a, a problems for the parent. Um, he has to feel that he's number one, that he's the most important thing in the child's life, in the parent's life, because he doesn't necessarily feel this anywhere else. So here is where he has to, he's given this feeling. So the child who has the security that he's always number one, even when there are challenges, and he's sometimes brought into challenges, the parents will naturally be more understanding, um, uh, 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 the child will be more understanding and the child will be understanding of the parents' commitments and their priorities. Mm -hmm.